Today I'm going to attach a Wahoo cadence sensor and a Wahoo ticker heart rate sensor to my wife's indoor training bike. I already have a Wahoo speed sensor on there that I did a video on which I'll link to in the description. So today we're just going to add a cadence sensor and connect it to the Wahoo Fitness app and I'll show you how to do all that. So it's a real simple process. You want to take the little rubber holder that comes with the cadence sensor. Make sure you have a good battery in here. So shake it a little bit and you'll see it start to flash, just tells you it's working. And then just put this into the rubber boot. So it looks like that. And we're gonna take a couple of wire ties to connect it on. So all you need to do is run the wire ties through these slots on the side. All right, so it looks something like this. And now let's go over to the bike. Okay, they, so this is real simple to do. You want to put it on the most narrow part of the crank arm and that way it won't loosen up. So you just put it on the inside here, feed the wire ties through. Make sure this isn't going to move around. And then you just want to snip off the extra with the snippers with a pair of wire cutters. As far as mounting it to the bike, that's all there is to it. So now, with each revolution of the pedals, it's gonna count as one, because it knows it's going around in a circle, and that's gonna transmit that information to your Wahoo Fitness app. So if you're cranking at 80 revolutions per minute, it'll show up as 80 RPMs in your fitness app. All right, next we're gonna connect the Wahoo Ticker, which is the heart rate monitor. So basically, it comes in a little device like this, and then you have your stretchy chest strap. So it just goes around like that. And it's just going to go around like this and snap right in the middle of your chest. goes just like that. Now I'll show you how we connect it to the app. And the app's going to monitor your heart rate and your cadence and your speed now that we have all these sensors hooked up right on the app while you're biking. Okay, so now we want to go to your Wahoo Fitness app. Open up the app. All right, so now we want to connect the sensors to the Wahoo Fitness app. So we want to go in. It already knows about my speed sensor because I did that earlier. So we want to add a couple more sensors here. So we want to go down to the bottom, go into settings, and we want to go up to sensors. And we want to add new sensor. If you have your heart rate sensor, put it on, and that way it'll start sending out a signal. And then quickly pair a new sensor. And you'll want to put your phone pretty close to your sensor. Ah, there we go. So it found the ticker. So we want to click that. Okay, right now it's showing my heart rate is 83 beats per minute. And we want to save sensor. And which profile? We're going to be using the indoor cycling profile. So just make sure that's checked. The other ones don't matter if they're checked or not. I don't use those, those other workout profiles. I'm just going to make sure indoor cycling is checked. Hit done. So now we want to add our cadence sensor. So to do that, make sure you're near your cadence sensor and just start turning your pedals backwards so that it gets that sensor to start sending out a signal. Go back to add new sensor. Quickly pair a sensor. I think that's close enough. Oh, there we go. There it is. Cadence sensor. Hit OK. Then we just want to save sensor. Make sure indoor cycling is checked. You don't have to uncheck the other ones, but just make sure indoor cycling is checked. Hit done. Now we have three sensors that are connected. Now they're all, not all active right now, so it doesn't see them all, but we're gonna to get to that in just a moment. Now we're just gonna go out of settings and we're gonna to go to workout. We're gonna start workout. Now I'm gonna get on the bike. I'm just gonna pedal at a moderate pace here. And it's gonna start, there it is. Now it's got my cadence, my heart rate, and my speed. So the speed's right here, the time, this is my cadence, 62 revolutions per minute and 92 beats per minute. So that's pretty much it. That's how you connect your sensors. And now you can monitor your progress and monitor your heart rate, your cadence, and your speed all on your indoor bicycle. All right, thanks for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please hit like below. Please subscribe and please check out the description for the sensors if you need any. All right, thanks for watching.